really hit a home run with the elbow, and your thumb is dramatically better. Nelson Gargard has come a long way since a fire at his home in Liberia, Christmas Eve of 2016. It left him with third-degree burns and unable to use his hands. His joints were fused together from the scars. He specifically had a very bad elbow contracture, bringing his hand close to his face. He had a wrist contracture, f finger contractures, and his thumb was stuck in close to his fingers. But what's worse is one of his 15-year-old twin daughters, Rika, pictured here in white, died in the fire. He was home with the girls and his two-year-old son when the fire broke out. I just heard a voice, Daddy, I just saw the fire. The generator backfired, and before they could get out, the home was engulfed. So I started making my way through the fire, like this, moving. And I, I, I fell twice, and I managed to get, get out. Since that tragic day, with the help of Catholic Charity, Nelson moved to the D.C. area on a temporary visa and met a team of doctors at the Curtis National Hand Center in Baltimore. Dr. Ryan Katz, Dr. Derek Mastin, and Dr. Jim Higgins performed a series of procedures this past January to give him back some hope and quality of life. The Curtis National Hand Center is one of the top hand centers in the world. It's also the largest with 16 surgeons, a fellowship program, and a special designation for trauma. He does therapy weekly to regain use of his hands, and he's hoping he'll be able to extend his visa to get more procedures. The skin graft that we took from your thigh. And while these doctors can't bring back his daughter, he's finally smiling again. I'm grateful because <laughs> I, when I told my sister yesterday, I said, my face is get, my face shiny again. She said, yeah, it's coming by. In Baltimore, Theo Hayes, WBAL TV 11 News. Well, incredible story, and wish him the best of luck. Still ahead tonight, first Brit